In this final video we will go through an all-in-one where we will uh, essentially import all the settings from an SCP file. We will thereby create the RAID volumes on the server and we have also included the firmware update. Finally we will boot from Pixie to install the OS. Now um, I actually had the settings for Japanese on for this uh, for the UI so sorry about that. Um, just to verify we haven't created any RAID volumes so um, you also don't have an OS in there. So we switch over to the Ansible server and we're looking at the playbook that we have uh, for this example. So we just import the file from the share and uh, change the boot order, switch to Pixie boot and uh, reboot the server. So all in a single playbook. And we can have a look there at the SCP file that we are importing. So we switch over to the NFS server and uh, we can have a look there. Essentially what we're doing is importing every single setting, so there's all of them in there. And as part of that we have the firmware update, pointing to a catalog file. We also have all the BIOS settings, as well as of course the RAID settings, and including there is the RAID volume that we will create during the import. Now since we are creating a new RAID volume, we have to change the boot order after that. We have that with a second uh, SCP import, where we've put the new RAID volume first. If you look at the TFTP boot server, which is actually the same box, you can see that we have the SXI installation files there. We also have a customized install file, which is uh, named after the NIC of the server. So if we check, check actually all settings there, we can actually grep for the MAC address and you can see there that that is uh, set there. Now to customize this install, we are pointing to a, uh, a web server, which is also the same box. And there we import the kickstart file, which will set the IP settings as well as the host name and some other settings as well, like starting off the uh, SSH and uh, the SXI shell. So let's just execute the playbook and let this run. So the update is running, we're starting with the firmware. And once that's done, we are applying all the settings. And at the last step, we are doing the pixie boot and the reboot of the server. And there we are, you can see it actually boots off. It pulls in all the server, the files from the, the FTP server. And there we finish up the installation. And after a reboot, we can verify that the settings have been set as expected. And that is all. Thank you so much.